Okay, as I said, uh, we will uh, be taking off the glaze. You see, it kind of uh, scratches it off. And that's it. Now, uh, I like to show you some difference and speak about some difference about uh, the casting with a with a broken arm machine we will be using a Kerr uh, since we've been doing post we have some posts in here some post cores in here what uh, I like to explain that it's uh, I will be using some reservoirs from other castings that I have done before so uh, in this case there will not be used any new metal. I will be using a crucible, a quartz crucible, and as you can see, quartz crucible are not replaced each time you do a casting. Uh, you burn them over and over again. We will be putting our reservoirs inside, um, inside the casting ring, and inside the casting crucible, and uh, it will be heated by flame. Uh, but this actually does uh, produce. An oxidation inside uh, inside the crucible, uh, which if you're doing PFMs, you're doing uh, frameworks for porcelain, uh, it can might turn out to have uh, negative results because uh, these oxidations uh, might be trapped inside the melted metal and be brought into the ring because it will be actually uh, there will be this kind of position in the casting machine so once the metal is melted it will go right through inside the ring and fill up the mold and uh, you see when this happens that the oxidations and some parts of the crucible might you know um, come off and get trapped inside the me melted metal and be brought into the ring and in the framework so uh, this you know um, has turned out to uh, give some troubleshooting to uh, some works this is why I was so enthusiastic about showing you the enterprise system which is uh, the system that we've seen in the other video where only uh, virgin metal is being melted inside of a uh, crucible which is used once it stays it stays into a vertical um, into a vertical position while it's inside the enterprise machine there is uh, a, uh, an air uh, it gets air blown uh, and shot the metal gets melted by induction and then it's pressed by air in an argon environment so uh, no oxidation gets uh, gets uh, gets free from uh, from the melt uh, the melted metal and uh, this way there is no trauma for the metal being pressed inside uh, the crucible and the crucible is is staying still in this position inside the machine so uh, these are two systems very different this used to be the old way this is the new way uh, and uh, we will see now how the broken arm is is made so let's let's take this away and we open the cover here here we have it you see uh, the machine gets winded up one two three and four doing everything with one hand is it's not very easy and uh, I will be using that other crucible you've seen it will be put inside the machine once it's heated and uh, we will see the process but this is the casting machine that has a tr centrifugal force that the metal goes on the outside and runs inside the ring and the ring will be positioned inside the machine right there so you will be seeing the metal being heated by a flame with a torch and uh, by centrifugal force once it's melted 
chains pushes in from the crucible to the ring now uh, one last thing I like to say about this that this ring contains expansion of the investment while this ring has a free expansion system which you control by measuring uh, your liquid your heat and your heat rays uh, now for this post course I will be uh, I will be putting in the oven and raising all at once with no middle stages and then I will be casting straight out of the oven okay so uh, my temperature has uh, my ring has reached temperature we can see in the oven I don't know if you can see it but uh, there's the crucible and the ring inside the oven and I have prepared my torch this is a torch that uh, can melt anything even a car for how uh, powerful <laughs> it is and uh, it's a talladium torch actually and uh, here we have uh, my faucets uh, this is oxygen and this is for propane and uh, for security reasons um, the bottles are in two different rooms and we do have valves of non-return here so uh, all this is done and with safety requirements and how it should be done so uh, soon I will turn on the flame on this torch and uh, this will not be shown because I will have to set my camera in a position so you will be able to see uh, the melting of the um, metal and hopefully I won't <laughs> melt my phone and uh, and the casting okay, let's get ready now. okay here is the flame Now the oven is empty, you can see the oven empty, you can close this drawer and we can turn it off and here's the casting machine, the swing arm is still turning we can put aside here our torch and at this point we can stop The swing arm and you can see okay I have to turn off here my propane and my oxygen this is the first thing I want to do and we can see how the metal melted has passed into the ring here it is well if you can see that well maybe in the dark is better okay and what we will do now we'll let this cool off inside this oven here and tomorrow morning we are going to uh, be back and uh, open the ring and take out our post scores and see how they fit one one we're going to fit on the model the next one is going to be the doctor to fit in the patient's mouth so uh, that's it with the casting machine uh, I hope you like this uh, 
this casting and we'll see how it turned out.